Let me ask you my first question about happiness. Are you happy? Sweet and simple. When I ask you, are you happy? By this, I mean, are you living a fulfilling life? Are you living a life of your dreams? I could assure you, many couldn't give a reply with a resounding yes. Hello everyone, my beautiful minds, this is Kruti Velani. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You are watching my first video on this channel named as KV Writes, Facts Beyond Myths. Here, I am going to take all of you some amazing scientific facts and evidences based on life and lifestyle and your well-being. So, let's talk about this. Let's get started. Can there ever be a single solution that everyone can accept, understand, apply? Yes, Dr. Masaru Imoto, a Japanese researcher, has found the answer for all these never-ending questions. He says, as Peter says, we start our life with 99% water. When we are born, we are 90% of water and by adulthood, we are 70% of water. And if we are old age, ki se mar rahe hai, we are 50% of water. We exist mostly as a water throughout our life. So how can people live happy and healthy lives? The answer is to purify the water that makes up 70% of our body. So what is water? Water kya hai? The answer would be God or a life force. Right? So if we lose 50% of water in our bodies, we won't be able to sustain anymore. Thus, water carries nourishment which is circulated throughout our bodies. Water is a nourishment to our body. Water has the great, great, great ability to copy and memorize information. And this information copying function of the water is thereby used to help people recover their health. This water copying mechanism has also been described in age old mythologies like Ramayan, where Rishi Valmiki sends charged water to Devi Sita to lessen her labor pain. And Devi Sita's labor pain decreases. If we study traditions of India previously, especially in villages, people used to worship water like a god. It even holds true for us in today's time. If we don't drink water for two or three days, ultimately it will turn into a god for us on the fourth day as it provides a very life to us. So people in the village used to worship the pot at night used to apply some haldi kumkum tilak and place a lamp nearby showing their love and give affirmations in the water for the well-being of their loved ones and family but we as today's generation couldn't believe the traditions so here is the proof for all those who still can't be convinced 1998 may french scientist jacques benoviste ne ek experiment conduct kiya to test the basic principles of homeopathy now the homeopathy is the medical field where the value of water is immensely recognized. It teaches us treat like with like, fight poison with poison. He diluted the medicine with water to the point where medicine was no longer detectable by clinical means. And then he discovered that this dilution had same effect on patients as the undiluted medicine. So the idea is that Instead of effect of matter being used to get rid of the symptoms, the information coupled to the water is being used to cancel out the information of symptoms from the disease. More recently, French virologist Luc Montagnier, the winner of Nobel Prize for his co-discovery of link between HIV and AIDS, presented a quasi-homeopathic method in 2009. He also suggested that water could retain the electromagnetic properties even when the solution is massively diluted. 
Another one was Professor Konstantin Karatkov, a Russian scientist. He was also involved in innovative water research. He developed a new approach for remote detection of individual and human emotions using a new antenna device to the electrophotonic image gas discharge visualization saturation camera system. On August 3, 2008, Emoto Masuro conducted a ceremony for blessing the border of Russia's lake named as Baikal. Now this Baikal lake is the world's deepest and the oldest freshwater lake. The GVD sensors of Professor Karatkov were used to measure any changes during the ceremony. The data showed distinct differences in the water at various stages of ceremony. Tests were also conducted in 2008 in Russia in which ordinary water was exposed to the NASA's sound of sun and then cryogenically flash frozen photographed and examined under dark field microscope author david sereda and saida medveda who produced the movie named the water the great mystery took a photograph of an ice crystal that had been exposed to the sound of solar field another professor named bernd kroplin at aerospace institute in stuttgart germany discovered a simple way of making the structure of water visible he applied drops of water to the slides and looked at them under a dark field microscope he showed that while individual drops made a different students were different from each other drops made by same student repeatedly showed a similar image in the dried water drop Professor Kroplin showed that an image of a flower and an image of a salad remained in the water after a flower or a salad was immersed in the water. This means that water shows and retains the exact copy of what we think. Professor Kroplin apparently took the science of water memory a step further. but this kind of work is still regarded as a pseudo science by mainstream scientists so guys here in this video i have provided you enough scientific data enough scientific researches enough scientific evidences and facts regarding the recent researches about water and water retention capacity water memory mechanism and a lot of the about the water so many scientists are been involved in this research but the question is how to apply this method to become healthy and happy so i have given this in the part 2 of this video so agar video achhi lagi ho to please like and share and subscribe this channel aur agar nahi lagi ho to dislike the video milte hain next video mein till then stay healthy stay safe Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Kriti Velani signing off.